30, nearly 1,700 students at Arkansas Tech University woke up today to the news that their student debt had been paid. Our Cassandra Webb joining us live in studio to explain why those debts were wiped clean. Cassandra. Kevin, the COVID-19 pandemic created a lot of challenges for college students, including economic hardship. So knowing this, Arkansas Tech used nearly $2 million of its federal American Rescue Plan funds to put a zero balance on thousands of students' debts. Very nice surprise for those dealing with tough times. Arkansas Tech student Dakota Barrett's life is about family, church, and horses. We're trying to get started in this crazy world. And what's been keeping him from getting his degree was a nagging $3,700 debt he owed to ATU. It's something that you wake up thinking about every day. It's something that just kind of tears at your heart. He and his wife go to work every day, but this year was hard. Sometimes it's just too much of a struggle to come up with three or four thousand dollars. I was just kind of sitting there on hold with that thirty-seven hundred dollars and, and just never had it extra to come up with. But then his phone rang. A super nice guy there uh, informed me that somebody had uh, paid the debt off. I couldn't even hardly talk to him. I just just about broke down balling. I won't even lie to you, uh, I cried for probably an hour. And just like that, his debt was gone. Something he calls a blessing from above. Really been praying on that, been praying that God would just somehow come through for us. And it came right on time. Dakota and his wife are expecting their first child any day now, a little girl. We believe in getting up and working, but we also believe that uh, every now and then people do just deserve a break. Dakota knows Arkansas Tech could have used that money for anything. But instead they chose to help the, the kids that, that do uh, come their semester in, semester out. Kids who work hard and are just trying to make it in this crazy world. So you might be wondering how these 1,700 students were chosen. Well, the university says the debt forgiveness applies to current and former students still owing a balance from spring of 2020 through spring of 2021, and they had to meet some federal guidelines. Back to you.